One of the biggest fears I had when bringing Joshua home was spilling coffee on him. This mug not only does it keep your coffee warm for hours, but it also protects you and baby from any potential spillage. <laughs> Today, I'm giving you the ultimate gift guide for new parents to, that takes out the stress and the guessing so you can make parent in your life feel loved and celebrated this holiday. The first item on the list is a loopy phone case. This phone case is life changing. One big joke amongst moms is, I wish I had another hand. Well, I can't get you another hand, but this loopy case freeze up the two hands that you already have. It doesn't make you feel like you have another hand, but a lot of times it makes me feel like I have another finger. <laughs> this case is absolutely brilliant. The way that you can carry multiple things in your hand, you can carry baby in one hand, you can carry a bottle, you can carry your water bottle, food, a plate, whatever the case is. A lot of times as moms, we don't have pockets. We have on leggings that don't have pockets or whatever the case is, it's hard. It's hard for us girls. A lot of times we don't have clothes that have pockets. It's honestly really, really annoying. And if you're a guy, you're lucky. Us moms, we need our phones a lot. We're usually using our phone to track baby's sleep, to track baby's um, feedings, diapers, all the different things. Or that's how we are entertaining ourselves while we're breastfeeding in the middle of the night and trying to stay awake. We use our phones a lot. But the problem is our phones oftentimes are not accessible to us. They're hard to carry, they're big, they're clunky, our hands aren't big enough to hold them and baby and the bottle and the boppy and all of the things. This Luby case will not give you another arm, but it will make you feel like you have an extra finger. This design of the case makes it so easy for you to carry multiple items at the same time. So you can carry baby, you can carry the bottle and still have the phone in your hand. It's also really, really helpful for not dropping your phone and breaking it because you don't want to do that and add another thing to your list that you need to do. So make sure that you get this case for a new parent. They will thank you a thousand times over. The next gift is a food delivery card. I'm talking DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates, whatever is most available or popular in your area. I know it varies from different regions of the country, but this gift is one of the best gifts you can give to a new parent. We were in the hospital with Joshua before he was born and after his birth, people sent us DoorDash gift cards because y'all, the hospital food is awful. And even when we got back home, we were gifted with a lot of gift cards and it was honestly one of the best gifts because new parents need to eat, but they don't want to cook. They don't have time to cook. It takes a lot of brain capacity and decision fatigue to decide what are we going to eat? Who's going to cook it? Who's going to clean up the dishes? Nobody wants to do any of that stuff when you are adjusting to adding a new baby to your family. This is a super easy gift that you can quickly do online. You can text them the gift card. You can email it to them. You're honestly taking something off their plate, um, <laughs> no pun intended, by sending them a free gift card. Sometimes for new parents, people ask them like, oh, what food do you want to eat? I'll drop off food to you. And that's a great gesture as well. But honestly, it introduces decision fatigue. Sometimes as parents, we don't want to think about anything more than what we have to. Uh, we don't want to think about, do I want Chipotle? Do I want Chick-fil-A? Do I want Subway? Um, so putting that pressure on a parent sometimes can be a lot. And a lot of times you'll see if you ask that, they'll just say, oh, well, we're good. I don't need anything. I'm okay. Because you're adding honestly another thing onto their plate to think about. The solution to that is to make the decision for them or to delay the decision fatigue altogether. Sending them a food delivery card will allow them to have the funds and the resources that they need to buy the food or order the food when they're ready, but they don't have to make a decision right then and there what it is that they want to eat. The next gift is diapers and wipes. Y'all, Every parent will be so thankful when you get them diapers and wipes. Diapers and wipes are expensive, y'all, but they are a necessity. Now, some people, of course, choose cloth diapering, and that's a great resource as well. So you want to know what type of diapers your friends um, or the parent that you're looking to buy for needs. But honestly, at any stage, whether they're potty training, whether they are still in diapers, or whether they're transitioning in pull-ups, any type of diaper or wipe is going to be a blessing to them because you're taking a burden off of them. The great thing about diapers and wipes is they never expire. When you have wipes, they're going to get used, whether it's for bottoms, wiping up messes, wiping up runny noses. Those wipes are going to be used. 
Parents use wipes not only at home, but in the diaper bag. They also oftentimes keep them in the car for emergencies. So anytime you get diapers and wipes, they are going to be used and much appreciated by the new parent in your life. The next item is loungewear. Y'all, us parents spend a lot of time at home. We spend a lot of time nursing babies, on the couch, burping babies, playing with babies. Parents need comfortable clothes. Especially in this day and age, a lot of us spend time at home, we work from home, we're spending a lot of time at home. And that means we need more comfy loungewear. Especially for moms, we need clothes that are breastfeeding friendly, that are accessible, pockets for all the things that we need to carry around the house. You can even think about things like a comfy throw blanket for when they're on the couch, hanging out, watching a movie, or when they're nursing the baby, um, or when they're taking a nap, when baby's taking a nap a robe, slippers, sweatsuit. I had these super comfy PJs that I absolutely loved and recommend. I wore these in the hospital and then wore them at home and they were so comfortable. They're from Amazon, super affordable and super cute and simple and they're breastfeeding friendly. These will be a great gift for a new mom. The next gift item is a self-care basket. Now these are so great because they're so thoughtful. If you can put some items in there, depending on where the new parent is, um, even a compilation of all the things that we mentioned in this list, you can even add some eye masks. I know someone gave me some mascara, spray deodorant, anything to keep them smelling and staying fresh that's one-handed is going to be huge for a parent any face wipes so that they can stay fresh on those days where like their shower is a little bit delayed or they're honestly not able to shower at all because baby is super fussy, that's gonna be great. So get them some self-care items, run even to the travel section of your Walmart or your Dollar Tree and get them some items from there, some toothpaste. They'll be super, super grateful for that one lesson that they have to run out and get and when they go to the grocery store. The next item for a new parent is snacks. You wanna get your friend or your loved one a great snack basket. When Joshua was a newborn, I was so hungry. People don't tell you how hungry you'll be when you are breastfeeding. I was eating protein bars in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. I needed a huge stash of snacks. A lot of moms will feel the same way if they are breastfeeding as a new parent. So make sure you help a new parent stack up on snacks. Protein bars, trail mix, anything that's hearty and filling that they also like is gonna be a huge blessing. Give them even some postpartum recovery tea. There's lots of options out there. Um, even some milk makers cookies to help them with their lactation production. Gatorade, coconut water, anything with electrolytes that helps mom build up her breastfeeding supply is gonna be huge. The next gift is a tiny hood course. A lot of parents want to take courses, but they just really don't wanna make the investment. Make it easier for them by just gifting it to them. Tiny Hood is a great resource for new parents. They provide breastfeeding courses, everything from baby led weaning to CPR. We took their CPR course before we started baby led weaning with Joshua. It gave us such great tips and a great level of confidence before we started solids with him. Another great and practical gift is a reusable water bottle or a cup. It's so hard for new moms and new parents to take care of themselves. Their minds and their, all their energy is consumed around taking care of this baby and if they already have other children, making sure their other children are taken care of as well. A water bottle or a cup that's fun, that's cute, can be a very easy way for them to keep up with their water intake. Especially for breastfeeding moms, we need a lot of water, we need to stay hydrated. So give them with the fun water bottle um, just to help them achieve that goal. Again, it's something that they want to do and they know that they should do, but it is just really, really hard. I love water bottles with handles. They're easy to carry around if you're also carrying baby. Ones that are easy to put in cup holders when they are driving or to put on the tabletop while they're around the house. This next gift is super simple, but so practical. And that is coffee or tea. Parents don't sleep as much as we would like to, especially in the beginning, and we rely a lot on coffee. So that's another thing that needs to be replenished often in a new parent's home. I got some Starbucks gift cards that were so kind and so 
thoughtful that I loved to use whenever I was able to run out. So you can do that for your new parent in your life, or you can also just gift them their favorite bag of ground coffee. Um, you can even drop them off their favorite Starbucks order or their Dunkin' Donuts order if you know what that is. But a gift card, some coffee, even if they love to make coffee at home, giving them a, a couple of bags of ground coffee for them to use. So it's one less thing they have to get when they go to the grocery store or do a food run. That is a very simple gift. If you feel like that's not enough, you can um, pair it again with the tumbler or with a cup or with a cute mug uh, with some encouraging words on there for them as they are enduring the newborn days. The next gift is the Yeti mug. This mug is such a blessing to parents. I love this mug for new parents because it is baby friendly. As we know, parents drink a lot of coffee. We need to stay awake. We need to stay alert. But the problem is that we cannot hold a newborn baby and hot coffee at the same time. One of the biggest fears I had when bringing Joshua home was spilling coffee on him. Now, I know that that sounds maybe a little bit weird, but it is something that they warned me about in the hospital before we came home. And it is something that the pediatrician does check on. They ask you, hey, you know, you know not to, to hold coffee while holding your baby, right? Just because you're holding your baby so much and you're tired, you're drinking coffee. One solution to that is to uh, drink iced coffee, but honestly, I prefer hot coffee. This mug was the solution for me to that. Especially when Joshua started getting older and walking around and crawling and now that he's a toddler and literally running around, he's always trying to grab what I'm holding. This lid protects him from any spillage. Now I'm not encouraging anybody to drink hot coffee while they're holding a newborn, but I am saying that if the coffee is nearby and you happen to nudge it or it gets moved while baby is around you, it is so much safer. It's just an opportunity to eliminate any stress when it comes to your hot drink or your hot coffee. I cannot recommend this, this mug more. This mug not only does it keep your coffee warm for hours, but it also protects you and baby from any potential spillage. The last gift idea is a cleaning service. When you bring a new baby home, Life is still happening as you are adjusting to this transition. You're eating, you're drinking, everybody else in your home is eating and drinking and doing life. You're still showering, you're still changing clothes, you're still laundry still needs to be done. Things are still happening. Life does not slow down when you have a newborn. It can be a lot to juggle. One of the things that we did was get a cleaning service when Joshua was a newborn. Now this depends on everybody's needs, of course, but even just having somebody come over and clean the fridge for you or clean your bathroom or your shower, something else that's kind of like a bigger stretcher that maybe you don't even do every day, is going to be a huge blessing. Now, if you feel confident, you can offer to do that yourself and kind of offer it as a gift certificate to your new parent in your life, or you can um, send them a gift certificate to get that done and they can kind of coordinate that with the company themselves. But it is such a sweet thing. There's so many things on a parent's mind um, when they're adjusting to a new baby in the house and taking cleaning off their list is such a blessing. If this was helpful, check out this video on the only essential items you need the first year of parenting. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.